Hey guys, it's Elena, and in today's video we're going to be talking all about all-in-one cloth diapers. So you may be wondering what an all-in-one cloth diaper is. So diapers have two different components. You have the waterproof layer, which keeps baby's outfit dry, keeps all the wetness inside of the diaper, and then you have the absorbent layer, which absorbs all of the pee. So an all-in-one diaper just means that those two different components are all in one diaper. You don't have different parts that you need to match up after wash time. You don't have different things that you need to add into the diaper. It's just all there in one and easy to use. So. I'm gonna tell you guys about some of the all-in-one diapers that I own, what I like and dislike about some of them. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons to choosing all-in-one diapers. And yeah, so let's hop in. So some pros to all-in-one diapers are that it's all-in-one. You don't have to match up anything. You don't have to do a lot of folding or anything. You don't have to really prep the diapers. You can just grab it out of the basket and put it on baby pretty much. So that's one thing that's super easy about all-in-ones. If you're somebody who's coming from using disposables, it just makes a little bit more sense to use all-in-ones sometimes because they just are simpler and they make more sense for somebody who's used to using disposables. However, there are a handful of cons to using all-in-one diapers, which I will tell you about as we go through the different styles of all-in-ones. So let's hop in. Let me show you some stuff that I really like, some features that I really like in an all-in-one, and then we'll end with the stuff that I don't so much like. So this is a style of all-in-one that I really enjoy. This is a happy flute. I will leave the full name down below for you guys, but it has two inserts you can see that are sewn in on the top and the bottom of the diaper and then the middle part of the diaper where the absorbency is or where the waterproof layer is, there is no absorbency in here. There's a little bit of like fleecy fabric to line the inside, but you don't have any thick layers of absorbency here in the, the up against the waterproof layer of the diaper. Your absorbency is all in these two little inserts here, which are attached. So all you have to do is when you get this out of the wash, you fold one, fold one, and then it is ready to go onto baby. Super simple. I like this style because since the inserts are separate from each other and they have kind of divided the absorbency into two separate pieces, you get a really great dry time out of this. The, the layers aren't too bulky and too bunched up to, you know, hold moisture too much. They're not laying right against each other to like hold moisture here at the seam. They're a far apart from each other and they dry quickly. There's no absorbency that is right up against the waterproof layer, which can, you know, if you have a lot of layers right here, right up against the waterproof layer, it can hold moisture and take a long time to dry in the dryer. And if you guys have watched any of my videos, if you know anything about me, you know that I can't stand long dry times. It's not just that, you know, I hate when I get a batch of diapers out of the dryer and some of them are totally dry and some of them still are a little bit damp. That drives me absolutely insane. I like to get a nice quick dry time and this kind of style will totally do that for you. Also, if you have too many layers all stuck really close to each other and they can't open up in the wash, it takes longer for it to dry, but it also holds moisture and won't get as clean as you would like it to because it's just so thick and big and bulky and the water and the cleaning, you know, the detergent can't really get in there and clean everything really well. When you separate out the absorbency a little bit, it helps get it cleaner as well as faster drying. So I love this style two tongues on either side with no absorbency in the shell. That is my favorite style. So this is a happy flute. It's like that. The um, Nerdy Mamas is the same kind of deal with the two flaps for inserts. And the Easy All-in-One from Panolino Bambino, also the same kind of style. That is my favorite style of all-in-one. I love it. Let me show you some diapers that I don't love as much that are a different kind of style. These two are Happy Behinds and they are slightly different styles here. So this little guy first, we have the tongue, the insert on one side, but then you also have built in absorbency in the shell. So like I said, I don't like having thick layers of fabric of absorbency right up against the waterproof layer. This is all sewn together. 
I don't like that because it takes longer for this little section to dry. This tongue may be totally dry right out of the dryer, but because the other part of the absorbency is in here up against the waterproof layer, it just doesn't get as dry. And I don't think it cleans as well because the water can't just like go straight through it like it can on this that doesn't have any waterproof backing on it. This other little guy is a similar deal. It has a tongue that you can kind of stuff into this little pocket here you can stuff the tongue inside so that it has kind of a flat surface here on the diaper but there's also absorbency in this part of the diaper that backs right up to the waterproof layer so it holds in the moisture it doesn't dry as quickly and it doesn't get as super clean as this little part here that is loose and away from the waterproof layer now there are some diapers who are kind of somewhere in between. Diapers that I don't super love, you know, it's not my favorite style, but I also don't like really hate them either. So this little guy here is a lighthouse. I think this is the Supreme all-in-one. It's sewn in on the top here, but it has like a bifold insert. So it's a nice and wide, but you fold one side behind and then you get your doubled up absorbency. Even though you kind of have spread the absorbency out in this big fashion, it's still sometimes when it's going through the wash, it can get folded on itself and keep some of the moisture in there. So it's not my super favorite style, even though they have spread the absorbency out a little bit, but um, it, it's just a different, it's something that I'm not super a fan of, but I don't, I don't hate it either. I think it's a it's a unique, I don't think I've ever seen a style like this in different diapers. It's a unique little setup here, but just not my super favorite. This is a Kale Mamo, which they almost, you know, it's almost my favorite kind of style. So it has two little uh, absorbency little inserts here, but they are sewn together up against each other. So there is no absorbency in the shell, which I love. That's great but these two inserts being sewn together right here instead of being on opposite ends of the diaper you do get this little section right here holds the moisture and takes a little bit longer for it to dry because you've got all these layers kind of bunched up together right here at the top where they can't kind of separate from each other this one here is a uh, mother ease uno and it's kind of a unique design so you have it sewn in on the top and sewn in on the back so it's kind of like a real all-in-one like it's you don't have to fold anything over you don't have to like adjust it really it's just all kind of together but they have separated the waterproof from the absorbency so you get a little bit of cleaning through here you get a little extra air for drying through here this is a kind of a cool design i really do like the design but this guy in particular it just doesn't have enough absorbency for my kiddos i, I just always have to add some kind of little booster in there to add extra absorbency it's not i mean it's kind of thick but it's just not enough absorbency for my kiddo but it is a cool unique uh design that i think works and they understand the you know they understand my issue <laughs> with this diaper you know with an all-in-one that has the waterproof backed right up against the absorbency they understand that that can be an issue so they put this space here in between them so yeah i do understand why people would like to have an all-in-one diaper it makes sense you know it's easy for other caregivers to use this for your kiddo because there's not things they have to match up or things they have to fold or do anything weird with it just makes sense to have it all in one all one big piece but there are some downsides to it as well so let's talk about the poo situation when baby poos it's not always just gonna sit right here on the top of the insert right if baby has a gross poo um it's gonna get all over the place okay and yes this is a cloth diapering video so we're gonna talk about poo i'm sorry but that's just that's just part of the game here so if you have a poo situation on this little insert right here it's not just gonna stay there it's gonna slide a little bit over to this other insert back here it's gonna get on the shell a little bit and so when you have all these different layers you take this diaper to the toilet to spray it out and you spray out this front layer and then you move it out of the way and you realize oh there's a little bit of poo on the back side of it there's a little bit of poo on the edges of this next insert there's a little bit of poo here behind everything it's a pain in the butt to spray out honestly my husband super hates all-in-ones for that reason alone he hates having to spray out tons of different layers moving things out of the way getting your hands in there a lot to get the poo out it's super annoying 
coupled with the fact that some all-in-ones just don't dry and don't clean up as nice as I would like them to. I'm just not a super big fan of all-in-ones, but I do understand why people would want to try them or would want them to be like maybe your first step into cloth diapering because they just seem simple and they just make sense and it, it all seems to work out. But there are little quirks about some of them that just make them kind of a pain if you ask me. And I've tried tons and tons and tons of different diapers over the years and all-in-ones are just definitely not what I grab for, not what I reach for if I have a big variety of stuff to choose from. So the reason I wanted to film this video is because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that we were living at my parents' house and we moved and I put some diapers in storage and I kept a smaller little stash with me while I was in the process of building and moving and all that stuff. And so I stored away a lot of these all-in-one diapers and I only just started getting back into them here. We've been in the house maybe a month or so now. And so for like a month, I've been using diapers I haven't used in a long time. And I've been thinking, why did I store these guys away in the first place? Why did I not say, this is something I definitely wanna take with me while we're building the house? Why is it okay for this to go into storage for months and months, right? And those are the reasons why, because they just bug me <laughs> when it comes to dry time and they bug me when it comes to spraying out the poo. So they're just not on my favorites list. And if you're somebody who loves all-in-ones, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you've got a diaper that works for you and your kiddos, but just my opinions, you know, take it with a grain of salt if you will, but that's just how I feel about all-in-ones. They're just not at the top of my favorite cloth diaper options. So I hope this video was a little bit informative for you guys. If you have any thoughts about all-in-ones, whether you like them or hate them, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know if there are any other styles out there that you think are really done well. Let us know down there and um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see here on this channel and I will talk to you guys next time.